Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Look, and today I'm really excited to do a recipe that's not only simple, but it's a southern staple. And you know, I was watching my cousin Benny the other day, and of course I was watching with Richard, who's from Alabama, and that scene came on with the grits when they were in the courtroom, and I was like, it's time to do some grits in the Instant Pot. Cheese grits, and perhaps shrimp and cheese grits. But you don't have to add the shrimp if you're not into shrimp, don't worry about it. I wanted to show you guys how easy this is to make in the pot. In fact, it's so quick to do, it's quicker than me even talking and doing this introduction, basically. So even though we're gonna be making these in the Instant Pot, we're not using Instant Grits, no, no, no. Put, 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 put. You can't do that in the South. So we're gonna go and make some classic grits, but in a very quick period of time. You'd almost think they were Instant Grits, that's how fast they're gonna cook. Let's go to the Instant Pot and do it. Shrimp and cheese grits. I want to start by adding three cups of a broth of your choice. That can be anything from chicken to vegetable to garlic broth, which I'm using, as well as three cups of water mixed. So three and three. I would only do three cups of broth because we don't want it to be too intense with the flavor. Of course, you could also just use water, but I would recommend using broth because it infuses more flavor into the grits. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And it's time to add in the key ingredient, our grits. Now, guys, I can't stress this enough, and many a southerner would probably agree with me considering I'm with a southern owner he told me it's sacrilegious to ever use instant grits or even like a five minute grit use old-fashioned grits stone ground grits or hominy grits whatever you can find just make sure they don't say instant or five minutes or quick grits okay that's the old school way all right that's like a New Yorker living in New York and going to Sabaro for a slice of pizza you know you've seen that reference right on the office Gonna get me a slice? And here's what grits look like. It's ground up white corn or hominy, basically. But don't confuse this with yellow grits, which is polenta. We'll use that for a polenta recipe. Make sure they're white grits. And we're gonna add in one and a half cups. Now, it might not seem like a lot, but believe me, it's gonna expand. And yes, I know there's six cups of liquid to just one and a half cups of the grits, but that's entirely necessary for it to properly cook. Okay, now let's just give everything a good stir. And that's literally all I have to do before I pressure cook. Broth, water, olive oil, and grits. Not instant, not quick. Regular old fashioned or stone ground or hominy grits. I keep punching that one home because I want my southern friends to like me. Okay, now I'm gonna secure my lid. Make sure that I'm in the ceiling position and on the new Instant Pot Duo Plus, the updated model, it automatically does that for you when you shut the lid. Then hit the pressure cook button and I want to go for 10 minutes at high pressure. And on the Duo Plus, I adjust the temperature for low to high using these arrows, but I always cook at high pressure. And if my Instant Pot has a start button on it, I'm going to hit that. If not, it'll start after a few moments of doing nothing after hitting a setting. And now that the pressure cooking cycle is complete, we're going to allow a five minute natural release that means we do nothing for five minutes. The timer here is now gonna to begin to count up, and in that situation, we're gonna wait for it to read five, and then we'll finish it with a quick release. And there we go, five minutes of a natural release have passed, so we'll finish this off with a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so let's take the lid off the pot. Okay, and there's my grits, and you're gonna see, as soon as I begin to stir, they're gonna thicken up perfectly. We still have some broth in there, but we want that. It's gonna to continue to absorb for a bit. So you see this? As soon as you begin to stir it up, it thickens up perfectly. We want it to be in this nice creamy consistency here. Okay, now comes the next step, which is optional, because if you don't want shrimp, you don't have to add it. But I'm gonna add in between one to one and a half pounds of raw, uncooked shrimp here. Make sure that they're also they're deveined and peeled if you can. The tails can be on or off. I'm going to hit the saute button and adjust so I'm on the more or high setting. And if my Instant Pot has a start button on it, I'm going to hit that. If not, it'll start after a few moments of doing nothing after hitting a setting. And I'm going to stir the shrimp up in the pot with the grits. And we're going to do this for about two to three minutes until the shrimp become opaque and begin to curl. Now, if you aren't doing this step, that's perfectly fine. You do not have to add the shrimp. You're just going to skip this moment. And also, by the way, make sure the shrimp are thawed. If you get pre-frozen shrimp, that's fine. Just simply put them in a colander and rinse them under cold water in the sink for about five minutes and they'll thaw perfectly. All right, and after about two to three minutes of our shrimp cooking in the pot, you're gonna see they'll have cooked perfectly, curled up, nice and opaque. We are done. We're gonna turn the heat off on the pot. And now I'm gonna hit the cancel or the keep warm slash cancel button if it shares the same button on your model. Now, like I said, the shrimp was totally optional, so if you didn't wanna add it, just skip what we did. But now it's time to add in some dairy. I'm gonna add in between two to four tablespoons of butter. You can use salted or unsalted. Um, and two tablespoons is a quarter of a stick and four tablespoons is a half a stick. 
a half a cup of heavy cream or half and half. And optionally, I'm going to add in one package of Borson spreadable herb cheese. You can use any flavor you want, or if you can't find that, you can just use four ounces of a brick of cream cheese or an alouette, whatever you want. I just cut it into little pieces before I add it because now I'm gonna stir everything in the pot and make sure that everything becomes nice and melded here. And this is really going to give our grits their creamy touch. Okay, and after about a minute or two of stirring everything up, everything will get melded into our grits and look at how creamy they're getting. And the final thing to do is, you guessed it, to fold in the cheese. Mm-hmm, you gotta love yourself one of those Shit's Creek references. I'm gonna add in about two cups of a shredded cheese of your choice. You can use Gouda, this is a cheddar blend, whatever you wanna do. And two cups, by the way, this is pre-shredded. I'm not getting fancy, you can if you want. But for reference, an eight ounce bag is two cups. And there it is, guys, my shrimp and cheese grits, all nice and combined here. Again, if you don't want shrimp, you simply leave the shrimp out and skip that bubbling and sauteing step. And if you want it even creamier than this, although I don't know why you would want to, you can add some more heavy cream or half and half, or a non-dairy milk if you wish. Now, if you want to give us a little bit of a peppa depa, we're going to add in some freshly ground black pepper that I'm just doing right in the pot. Now, of course, you can just use regular pepper as well, black pepper, that's fine. But I'm going to add in about, you know, two teaspoons worth, and you can do it to taste. You don't have to add this. Alternatively, you can also add in some splashes of the hot sauce if you want. Why not? Some people enjoy that. Totally up to you. You do not have to add that, though. And we're going to stir that in. Make sure it's nice and combined. And there we have it, guys. We are ready to serve. Let's do it up. The creaminess is very, very real here, y'all. Like that, y'all? Nothing like a Jewish New Yorker saying it, huh? Look at this consistency. That's how I love my grits, personally. Look at all the shrimp in there and the grits looking lovely. There we go. Perfection. Just how I like it. And you can feel free to top it off with some chives. Gives it a nice little touch there at the end. And this, my friends, is ready to serve. Let's try it out. All right, my friends. And there is my shrimp and cheese grits. Look at how creamy this is. And look at how it stays together so nicely. Here we go. Now, I've had shrimp and grits before, quite a few times in the South. And now having this in my kitchen, all the way up in the Northeast, this Yankee boy who likes the Mets, this here, shrimp and cheese grits, or just the cheese grits in general, sit right amongst the ones I've had in the South. It is delicious, it is creamy, it is cheesy, it is full of rich flavor. Mm. Mm. And a lot of that, will be dependent upon what kind of cheese you use in the pot. Whether it be cheddar, whether it be mozzarella, whatever you really want to add, you can add. That borson or the cream cheese is gonna give it an extra creamy touch. And if you want it thicker, although look at it, it's pretty thick, I would say add no heavy cream or half and half. And if you want it thinner, add more. If you have leftovers and you put this in a Tupperware container in the fridge, it's gonna tighten up for sure due to all the cheese in here. You might wanna add some cream when you reheat it, if there's any leftovers, that is. Hey, yeah, but of course, I mean, I gotta have the Southern boy himself try this out. Yo, Richard! Okay, so here he is, the one and only himself, just turned 40. Happy birthday, Bobola. Thank you. As you're about to eat Southern food. So what do you think? He is a grit connoisseur, so tell me what you think. <laughs> so dubious. Mmm, those are cheesy. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> the cheesiest cheese bread I've ever had. Well, that, well I, I like to make them a little bit cheesier. Again, you can add less cheese if you want. And I only put two cups in there of the cheese. I wouldn't suggest going any more than that. Those are good. Very good. It's one of the easiest things you could also make in the pot. It's literally, you saw, it's like a set it and forget it situation. And if you want some shrimp at the end, you just toss them in right like in that last step that are raw and make sure they're thawed ahead of time. Don't put frozen ones in. A few moments they're gonna be cooked, then you add the cheese and you fold it in. Mm. Right, David? Fold in the cheese. Yes, definitely fold in the cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna take it. Oh, you're gonna take it again? Gonna, all right, well, enjoy that then. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is a real, real simple and spectacular recipe for sure. I strongly suggest you give it a try, especially if you've never had grits before. You might be very surprised at how delicious they are. I have cookbooks out, by the way. I have the original Step by Step Instant Pot cookbook out, the orange cover, which has some comfort classics in there for sure, and then my lighter book, the blue one, the lighter Step by Step Instant Pot cookbook. Both are number 
one bestsellers. I'm so honored that you enjoyed them. And I gotta tell you, this recipe is so good. I just might have to write a third book and put this one in it. Check out my website, pressurelovecooking.com because tons of my recipes live there. You can go to facebook.com slash pressurelovecooking and like that page. Anytime a new recipe comes out, deals on items, tips, things of that nature. I also like to try to make you laugh when I can. And uh, at Pressure Love Cooking on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, which I haven't really been TikToking at all, but might as well just throw that out there. Thank you so much again, guys. And the next time you catch Alice in reruns on TV and you see Polly Holiday pop up and say her famous line, then it might be time to uh, inspire yourself to make some fantastic shrimp and grits. Enjoy. Mm.